So I'd like to thank my panel that have agreed to join this discussion today. They all have a connection to contemporary jewellers at jewellery, either as makers or as thinkers with a keen interest in it. This question today is asked with a curiosity and it comes from my position as a jeweller that's always associated herself with contemporary jewellery and seen it as a language. It's also, today's about teasing out the idea, poking at the question. It's not about right answers. It's not about solutions. It's about playing with an idea and trying to work out what it means. And I've come up with a three-part way of trying to tackle it. I haven't done this before, so it could fail miserably. But it was a way of trying to get some very fast, quick associative thinking into what is quite a deep concept. It's got, you could really disappear down rabbit holes with this one. So I'm going to try and keep something moving along. And so before we start, I'd like to encourage you to think and respond to this idea with what you think contemporary is. As I mentioned before, there's no right answer. There's lots of answers. And contemporary is very complex and diverse. And so how does it then fit with contemporary jewellery? It was quite um, interesting with all the questions that have been in this series. They've all looked at jewellery and we haven't yet narrowed into contemporary jewellery. And it seems standing in this exhibition of Lisa Walker's, who's always poked at this question, a good opportunity to then see what other people may think or tease out about this. So the session's broken into three parts. The first deals with the chart that's sitting on your chairs, and it's a very fast associative word play. So it's where I'll ask the panel but also audience to respond and in each of the headings and Rob and our wonderful scribe has agreed to put the words in so that we can see them. Um, each, each of the headings are simple direct headings that allow for both related and unrelated solutions. So again it's just about what comes to your mind when I say one of the headings and what, how does that relate to contemporary. So we'll work through that quite quickly and then hold those words in mind while we might tease out the ingredients of what contemporary is and then see how that would work, whether it works in contemporary jewellery or, or doesn't, I suppose. It would just be a way of sort of seeing Things. So it, this is kind of how I plan to... So the, the chart is just a guide. It, ha it's, it hasn't got... Of course, it hasn't got every possibility. There's all sorts of different sorts of possibilities. We probably won't get through all of it. The second half, the bottom half of it, is more words that are about a colouring in of the concept. The first set are more trying to deal with the nub of it. And um, I suppose also due to the time constraints, we'll do five words each, each heading, and then move on. The panel was mic'd up. I invite the audience to participate, but if you can call out your word and then I'll repeat it so that it's recorded and Robin can write it down because it'll take too long time to get round to each one with a microphone just to try and start to move things along. So having said that, let's start with abstracts. What are associative words do you think of? Form. Sorry, form. Fake news. Fake news. Pricey. 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 Virtual lives. Expressions. Expressions. Okay. 
Contemporary experiences. When you say experiences, what do you think of it is a contemporary experience? VR. VR. Identity theft. Identity theft. Sorry? Increased surveillance. Increased surveillance. Online dating. Online dating, yeah. Online dating. Good coffee. <laughs> Good coffee. Robin, don't worry about the spelling. <laughs> um, we'll we'll uh, correct it afterwards for people who understand what. Online dating. Good coffee. Sorry? War? I don't think it... Yep. No? Okay, war. Or yeah. Temporary. Yeah, that's what I was just... Terrorism. Okay, let's move on to emotions. Terror. Terror? <laughs> Fear? Terror? Remoteness? Remoteness? Stress? Stress? Yeah, like that's part of the stress meaning. Yeah. Self-doubt. Self-doubt. Maybe love. Love. So it's just working intuitively. It's just what comes into your mind. So adjectives. How, how would you describe contemporary? Fast and slow. Fast and slow. New. Present. Present. Bold. 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 Oily. Oily. <laughs> Oily. Saturated. Saturated. Soft. 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 Objects. What objects talk to you about contemporary? Wearables. Wearables. Non objects. Non objects. Non -objects. Drones. Drones. Screens. Screens. Screens, yep. Directness. Directness. A directness. An object. I'm talking about an object rather than a descriptive. What do people think? It needs to be an object. Clean would go into the adjective, but it needs what objects talk to you about, you know, like headphones or what, what Prosthetic. things. Prosthetics, yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Functional also is descriptive. This particular heading is about objects. Words. Words. It's interesting, okay. Yep, yep. Yep. Smartphones. Smartphones. Okay, let's move on to places. Can you scroll down, please, Robin? So, so what types of this can be a city, it can be something that is in your life, it can be Airports. airport, island, island. island. home. home. The internet, yep, yep, cyberspace. Mars. Body. Body. Um, what I'm trying to capture here much more is places that you go that speak. I know the body can be contemporary. If I was to say contemporary city personally, I'd think of Tokyo for instance, but a lot of other people wouldn't have that response. I'm just trying to capture some sort of... Forest? 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 Forest. Mars? 
Mars. <laughs> okay. Where? Westfield. Westfield. <laughs> can we move, um, Robin, so that we can get through some more? Media images. Explosions. Explosions. <laughs> yep. Sex. Sex. which is what I'm trying to think of, what actually is in our faces from the media that talk about contemporary. Instagram Yep. Hashtags. Hashtags, yep. Yeah. So it's, it is still trying to um, think of particular media images that are repeated and repeated and in our face that then talk about. Kim <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. Kim Kardashian. Yeah, yep. The Kardashians. Okay. Touch, feel. Soft. Soft. Joe Biden. Sorry? Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. The touchy feely story about Joe Biden. Oh right, okay. Yes. I'm I'm now working back into the senses. Okay, so it's into the senses and what you might experience. So it's taking experiences and what you think? Haptic suit. Haptic suit. Double thumb texting. Yeah, or gestures. Gestures, or just gestures. Gestures, yeah. But something, also something there more feeling, something that you might, more touching, something that you might feel yourself. What sort of textures, what sort of um, materialities are in the world that speak about contemporary to you? Vibration? Abrasion. Abrasion. Coldness. Interesting. Taste. What are contemporary tastes? No Foam. Hang on, we'll get Robin. Taste is the next heading, so if we can <laughs> just scroll down. <laughs> yes. Get there, get there. Yeah, I know. I know. You're doing remarkably well. So we go back to the, what did you say? Foam. Foam. So things that you taste. I'm still looking for a taste, a flavour, a taste. Bitterness. Bitterness. Sweet. Yeah, but it's just, just something that you've tasted that would talk about. Salty. Sorry? Umami. Umami. Sound. Buzz. Holographic sound. Holographic sound. Ping. Ping. Ping, yeah. That talks about it. Sounds that talk about. Jack. Yes, I'm <laughs> with a, on that one. Mm. One, two, three, four. Something. Mm, that sort of whirring, yeah, computer whirring. Smell. <laughs> I'm still trying to deal with the senses. 
I mean, they, they, that's, that sits in some of the others, still trying to draw out, because it's colouring it in, as I said before, it's still trying to pull it. Well, we would automatically say no sound, no smell, no taste. They're all of them. It's in all of them. I'm more, it's more trying to... Sorry? Ozone. Ozone. It's an interesting. Yep. Chlorine. Plastics. No, it's not, it's, it's not existed now. The lack of cigarette smoke. Maybe the e cigarette. The, yeah. So we might, there's colour and that. We might just do material and move on to the next bit. So we'll scroll down, form we've done with objects. A colour, give me a colour. The artificial black. Benjamin. Yeah, Kapoor, mm -hmm. Anish Kapoor. Okay, material. Just move down to material because I want to keep moving on. It's the last one. What are, what are the materials that speak of contemporary to you? Gorilla glass. Gorilla glass. I've missed what you said. Chrome. I think chrome's about modern. Um, <laughs> well, plastics is certainly something that is considered. What about things like graphene or yeah. you know, materials that are really just talking about our time now? Carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes. Okay, so hold those words. Hold that sensibility in your head while we sort of start to talk about what contemporary is. Try and work out what the actual ingredients are and how you might, might describe it very briefly in a few words. I mean, when I started to... Um, Robin, can you switch to that other chart? Thanks. Um, as whenever I start to try and nut out something, I drive everyone I know crazy by asking them what they think contemporary is and not letting them off the hook and just finding out. And it's really interesting the answers that came back. But nearly always the first thing people said was time. It was just the most common answer. And then I said, yes, and what else do you think it is? And these were some of the things that people came back with. And the first one was the closest to what I think contemporary is or close, close to. Um, but I do think it's very diverse and complex and so here I'm going to swing to each of the panel and ask and find out what your description or understanding of what contemporary might be. Do you want to start, Susie? Oh, okay, thanks. Um, yes, I would say time. So, yes, and to be... Um, because I guess it just takes me back when I was um, working, I was asked to write on context, because you know, I'm involved in interior design and space and things. And um, I actually made the point about we should actually be thinking about contemporary. Because context, you know, with context about space, and the word con, con, um, <laughs> yeah, C-O-N um, is, is with and, and comes from connections. And so, I was making a point that really we need to think about interior design in relationship to contemporary with time um, rather than with space, with text, with meaning. And I guess I've just struggled a little bit to sort of throw out things in the past kind of exercise because for me, I think in terms of thinking with time, 
you know, what it raises is this question that we just think present, you know, that contemporary is present. Um, but, um, you know, in terms of this idea of time, time's a very complex kind of concept or, in fact, a thing that we're in. And this idea of past, present, future, that kind of linear idea of time, really is something that sort of is no longer kind of, I guess, theoretically, philosophically, kind of conceptually, sort of what's well, challenged a lot. And so this question of even the present, you know, are we in the present or was the present already past? So I think for me, you know, contemporary is in this kind of dialogue with that, you know, when I'm thinking about time. So it's not equating it with present. Um, you know, if we talk about contemporary design, contemporary, what have I got, contemporary um, architecture, contemporary thinkers, you know, we want this idea of, you know, parallel or in time together. But I think um, contemporary actually is something that um, challenges the way we think about time and how we are in the present. That's, I've got a lot more to say about that, but I know I've got to be fast. So that's where I'd leave it. Um, well, yeah, my initial response to contemporary is thinking about something being very modern, um, but I actually like the idea of the past and the future because I think to be modern, that has come from being built on, on top of the past and it's also looking towards the future. So, yeah, I, again, I think it is this idea moving around time um, and for me, in my practice, which is definitely referencing the past so much, but also looking into the future with technology. And I think the one place that we really never are is actually in the present. We're always in the past and in the future, so. Can I ask what you mean by modern? Modern, well, it's a very probably stereotypical idea of modern. Like I think of like, um, like modern design and furniture and like hard lines and angular, so the opposite of what I do. So you're making modern and contemporary the same thing and not separate things? It's just the word that comes to mind when I think you say contemporary. It's, it's When I think about it more, I start going into the, the idea of time, but I definitely think... I guess I, I don't put myself in contemporary general, generally, so I think of it as like the opposite of what I do. Mm -hmm. no, I was just yeah. wanting to clarify it because yeah. some people said that they saw contemporary as moving on from the modern, yeah. as dismissing the modern. Yeah. So that's why I needed to... Vicky. Um, so when I thought about it, I thought about the idea of kind of being cognizant or aware of the world around me. Um, and kind of interacting with the time that that you live in or that I live in um, and taking into account the pressing issues of the day. So, 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 so you know, megatrends, climate change, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. mm. Justin? Well, I that sort of like contemporary, but con is the sense of fake rather than with. So we live in fake <laughs> times, and that's the thing about the contemporary today is like it's fake time. And there's a, 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 a kind of... Uh, and, you know, if we are going to live today with social issues and so on, then the possibility is not thinking about the future. It's about thinking there may be no future, and maybe no future for us at all, and very, very, uh, very, very soon. Um, one of the things that, uh, there's a great essay by Boris Croys called uh, Comrades of Time, and he says, you know, sometimes time goes badly, and today time is going badly, right? Mm -hmm. It may be running out. If it's running out, what would it mean to be contemporary? It would mean to be a friend of time, to be a comrade of time, and help time out. So we need to help time itself out today, and that's what makes the contemporary contemporary. The temporary. The contemporary. temporary, the contemporary, temporary, contemporary, contemporary. real contemporary. contemporary. Yeah. Anyone in the audience? What do you think are the ingredients? We've gone through a whole associated wo word play. We've had some descriptions of what contemporary is to people. Does anyone? Is it something you think about, or you just take for granted? When you say new, 
Is it something that you haven't experienced? What I'm seeing in uh, and think about modern, it's more in the context of thinking, oh, I didn't see that kind of before. This is something new. So would you call it contemporary if you were describing it to someone? Mm, probably together with modern or not modern, but it's contemporary that is at that time. Yeah. But it doesn't mean what is done now. It's modern. So do you see it's a bit like what we were talking with Julia? Probably, um, whether yes. there's a distinction between the two or they fold I into each so. other? Yes, I think and so. And what is the subtle distinction then? I, when I came, in fact, when I came to Australia, to Australia 30 years ago, I was learning about these two worlds and that way I understand how that was explained to me about modern art and contemporary art. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's interesting when we think in terms of um, how contemporary is the adjective for so many different strands and is used more commonly in art. It's not used so commonly in music because the music will be break down into its various strands. And I wonder whether there is such a thing as contemporary traditional or traditional contemporary, whether it folds into other concepts. Does anyone else have any idea? Oh, it's Thank you. I guess I would say that for me, the contemporary is what's present, so what's going on right now. And at the same time, you're aware that most of the time, when people are trying to define themselves in the moment of being or doing, we never have a sort of full overview of what's going on. So it's of, often it's like you define what something has been when you look into the past mm -hmm. and you have more information. So it's a kind of desperate attempt to make sense of yourself while being and it's kind of difficult. And often I find those attempts a bit sort of vague because as you try to, let's say, uh, juxtapose traditional with contemporary, even things that you do today that you would label traditional you are still doing them today. So and does that in that sense, they are contemporary for me because most likely mm -hmm. you're using like, things that are present in different ways. As I was talking uh, once upon a time with some native artist and like, they were so annoyed, that specific person, by this question. So are you using just traditional tools to do your traditional work? And he says, yes, I do, because my tradition uh, tells me to use the best tools available which makes it sort of always reinventing that tradition, making always new, always contemporary, even if you're drawing on something that it has been before. Yeah, I think there is that tension that sits in it. It's whether you want to talk about it. Contemporary dance is a, uh, a genre that's not too far removed from contemporary jewelry in that sense, where there is very distinctive traditional dance and there is contemporary dance. And I know in contemporary dance fields, they struggle also, of where do we move from this? What do we do that, that we're being located in a particular time? And I'm curious as to whether contemporary, like we were talking in terms of modern, um, starts to mark a particular time. I'm not sure whether it does or not, or whether it's just this ongoing roll on and if it's marking a particular time what what is it evoking that's turning up modern meant everything that was modern as in not uh, coming from traditional um, crafts and whatnot and, and had a de definite idea of um, what it was about. 
maybe contemporary will become exactly a term that exactly like what modern is to us now. It will define a particular space in time. Is that what you're saying? I'm asking, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, was... I think it might, but then on the other hand, contemporary is, to me, it's like you, you, you make something contemporary when you reflect the concerns of your time. So it cha- does it mean then it changes when the concerns change? Yes. yes. And what are those concerns that are changing and what is growing out of that? Yep. It's a bit about yeah. what you were saying in terms of well, fake. To come, back, come back to what was just said, you know, we're in the present, we're just in the present, but most of the present we don't know anything about it. So to be in the present means to be absent from the present. So we know we're present because we, we're not in the present. We precisely don't know anything about what's really going on. You could wrap so, it a little bit more. Okay, so then <laughs> what's contemporary? We'll only know what was contemporary later. So you can only ask, what was contemporary? Contemporary is never actually contemporary with itself. It's always a matter of the past that you recognise backwards. So uh, to be contemporary means to already be a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas I see it more as an adjective word that's continually evolving. Which means Whereas that you're present, but if you're present, you're absent, because <laughs> as we know, we don't know very much about the present, so you know, we won't know till, till it's too late. So my difference between modern and contemporary is I see modern as more of a noun, as a fixed point. Yeah. Modern is something that has looked at the past, changed the past, and is quite fixed and identifiable, whereas contemporary is something that's doing those things, but also looking to the future and continuing. But it has to be unidentifiable then. I I agree with you. Modern defines itself with respect to the past, not the past. I am modern, not the past. Whereas contemporary is like, where are we? We're not the past, but are we modern? Mm, We don't know. So there's a certain... Yeah, there's a certain... We are, but we don't know whether we're actually contemporary (laughs) or just repeating, as was also said, repeating old things which we're we're, we're not aware of. So to be contemporary... Well, that's right. Well, that's why if you're going to be contemporary, you have to know that you may just be doing something that everyone else has already been doing and therefore not contemporary. So, so kind of taking paradoxical. this absence in right. mind <laughs> yeah. and now talking about contemporary jewellery, taking all these things that we've just talked about contemporary and there is very definite categories that say modern jewellery and contemporary jewellery, for instance, and standing in amongst this work that has always poked at what is contemporary, and considering it is a term that has existed in jewellery for 40 years now, (laughs) since it was embraced in jewellery practice, what do you think contemporary means to, of, about, after jewellery? How do you see your practice or the jewellery that you make as contemporary? Oh, come on, it's such a big question. I don't even know if it is, but I, I mean, you know. Just something very, yeah, just... Well, I guess I'm interested, as I said, in being aware of the world around me at the moment and what the kind of pressing issues are with respect to, you know, life and where we're heading. So um, I guess, you know, within some projects and exhibitions is kind of, I mean, kind of soft activism or a desire to kind of direct my work to convey a message. You know, I've got a little brooch on that says, um, reduces road rage. So this is from a show that was about urban trees and the fact that, you know, within the urban situation, um, there are less trees being planted as, you know, land becomes so more social, valuable. the social cause that... Yeah, that I want to... Positions it as contemporary. Yes. That allows that adjective. Yes as an adjective to be used. Yes. So jewellery's the noun. Jewellery's your practice. Mm. And contemporary is the descriptive. I'm asking, I'm not, I'm just trying to tease out. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Or is contemporary jewellery the noun? And then Mm. we say it's good, it's shit, it's works, it doesn't work, it talks about, I don't know. I think, I think ultimately history is going to tell us what we're doing now. Um, and 
I can't wait for history. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> I feel I'm mean, history. Just, I'm old enough to feel just, like I'm history I'm now. I'm just kind of thinking about, you know, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo and those guys sitting around going, hey, we're doing high renaissance at the moment. What do we think about that? You know, like, that's what it sort of feels like we're talking about. And I sort of feel like, you know, history will say, well... There was a bunch of people doing jewellery about identity and a bunch of people do doing jewellery about, you know, critique of preciousness and a bunch of people doing it about this and that and the other thing. Mm. I don't know that there actually is an umbrella term for all of what we're doing. Because so do you think it's worthwhile thinking about that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to find the answer, that's all. Well, Not today. today. Wasn't about Not today, to find, no. I wasn't trying to find the answer um, today. Con, can I? Yeah. Oh, you've got mic. Oh, can, yeah, mic up. The dog. panel can butt in at any time. We can, we can just, you just butt, butt in. in. <laughs> I guess this is just my um, second time being on the panel. I've come to a couple of the other conversations and it's made me really reflect on contemporary jewellery because I felt like I sort of came into these conversations thinking that they were just all going to be about contemporary jewellery and realising they weren't. So it's interesting to reflect then for me in terms of what I was thinking that I was thinking contemporary jewellery is. And um, I suppose, and it's also made me appreciate that perhaps contemporary jewellery is in the past. I mean, it reminds me of, I wasn't there at that memorable conference where Con said to everyone that contemporary jewellery is dead. Um, contemporary jewellery movement is oh, dead. Oh, okay, yep, Qualif yeah, but There's yeah, 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 no, sure, difference. sure, I wasn't yeah. there, but, yeah. you know, but, um, yeah, so it's kind of been thinking more, okay, yeah, and I, I could understand where I was coming from that I was thinking about this thing called contemporary jewellery in some kind of way, which was different to some of the conversations that we've been having. And just the invitation here to think about then contemporary, contemporary jewellery made me think, well, perhaps, you know, like it, this idea of time is kind of critical. And when I look at a lot of the works that I consider to be contemporary jewellery and, you know, experiencing them through when I was working at Craft Victoria, it's back in the 1990s, and what I was exposed to at that time was really this kind of work that, that interrupted kind of present assumptions. And I th I, you know, a lot of the things that have been offered up around contemporary are sort of things that, that, you know, in a way one might say that are familiar things or cliches. But contemporary jewellery, for me, interrupts that. It opens up time in a way where it's not about sort of producing or showing me something I already know or, you know, something pre-existing or making me feel good or anything like that. It's an interruption. And, you know then from there one sort of thinks about a whole lot of things, you know, and they're all, there's no sort of one particular thing that it makes one think about because there's, each piece is different. But it's sort of a, an, an encounter and as somebody that wears it, it is something, even now I have pieces from there that continue to disrupt my present moment. And so that's what I mean by saying, you know, it's sort of, interrupts the kind of, the present is sort of then seen to be the past. And so contemporary jewellery does that for me. Contemporary dance also does that mm. for me. And some contemporary art does. Mm. Contemporary design does not, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> and contemporary food, I, I'm not sure. That's, yeah, but yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I think maybe it is a noun in some ways when in we talk about contemporary jewellery. Food, for instance, where it becomes an adjective. Yeah, but I, I do see it difference you yeah. know I think it's really interesting in this forum and with in this exhibition you know this this kind of question around contemporary jewelry and just the assumptions I made coming into it and you know felt uncomfortable with some of the things that I was saying because I thought oh no well you know people are thinking very differently you know I'm sort of coming from where I was you know sort of relation with stuff that was happening previously so I mean I think it's interesting this kind of dialogue that's emerging yeah. around yeah. it. Julia. So I think the thing that really separates contemporary jewellery from traditional jewellery is the ideas. Like I think when you look at traditional jewellery up until that point it was about making beautiful things and aesthetics and then you go into a lot of the contemporary jewellery that I think about and I guess it's disruption as well but it's about 
making talking about something like it's done through a wearable object but I think the ideas are what carry it into a different paradigm because it's it's not just the integrity of the aesthetics it's like what well, some I have to say that some historical traditional jewelry was very disruptive in its time yeah it wasn't called contemporary of the time yeah but it really did it has throughout history there's been pockets where it's challenged yeah okay um so then that comes down to our experience yeah where we've come from did uh, you want to say something oh, yes i was going to say we oh. we live we live in uncertain times and i think that's what's reflected in the sort of conversation that's going around i mean no modernist would have said you know that they didn't know what they were you know they would have had a difference of opinion, but they would have all been looking to a sh bright, shining new day when, you know, science and technology was going to solve, you know, all the you problems. You don't think so? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this is, this is what I mean, that this is what people would have thought. It, you know, the modernists would have, you know, looked at a, at a sort of an optimistic future. We, we, we don't look at the future in, with optimistic Oh. And well, okay, so you do, but um, not everyone, no, not everyone does, and uh, and and we live in a time when there's a lot of a lot of crises and a lot of uncertainty. And there has been in the past too. And, and there's a reflection. Yeah. yeah. Well, there has been, but this yeah. is a particular time where um, contemporary jewelry, which you know, is, ref is is the concerns of which are reflected all around this room, is is about so many different things, I suppose. And they're all legitimate. <laughs> yeah. So do we... We're still going to hang on to contemporary in contemporary jewellery. I suppose it's a general term that kind of sums up something. Well, it's that Maybe. something. I mean, it's sort of... <laughs> Um, I mean, surely, I know all the jewellers here at the times that people say, what do you do? You say you're a jeweller. Mm. You say you're a contemporary jeweller. And there's expectations. I was yeah. talking to a dancer yesterday yep. who um, does contemporary dance here and went on um, a project to Macau, in, you know, China, and to work with contemporary dancers there. And the contemporary dancers there, and it ended up being dancers who are mainly sort of doing dance in the casino and so on. Mm. And so they're exchanging and showing each other their different contemporary dance moves. And, you know, like they were just totally different, you know, in terms of what an understanding of contemporary dance is. Mm. And so I think there are sort of very kind of cultural kind of aspects as well. Yeah, yeah, I think we're that. talking about what contemporary is. Contemporary jewelry is what you know, in that instance, contemporary was just about being the latest kind of um, dance, dance kind of craze move. Yeah. I wonder. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we can discuss that question fully without also addressing what is jewelry. What do we mean we by jewelry? We could, jewelry? but just we've got to wrap up in about two minutes. Just, just <laughs> uh, thinking as example, yeah. let's say brand name of a, on a sweater is it the jewelry today, or filter on Instagram is it jewelry? Like, is jewelry yeah. only the yeah. things that you have around your neck, or is jewelry as a concept it has also more or could have more meanings in contemporaneity? I totally agree. I think what the question was doing was really focusing in on this concept of contemporary jewellery that um, as a contemporary jeweller I use and the field in which I practice in uses all the time. And how... Is she all right? Oh dear. <laughs> a sound, a sound of contemporary. Um, so it was, I agree with the bigger question and we have walked through those questions in the other sessions and this one was just trying to unravel or work out what these ingredients are. What is, you know, what is the contemporary ingredient of contemporary jewellery? 
And I think we've got... So, do you think it should be renamed? I'm not advocating anything. Do I have to repeat that? You, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, do you think it should be renamed? I know I've stopped using the word contemporary. I haven't got a... And I talk about being a jeweller and I talk about the work that I do and I'm finding myself dropping it um, because it, I don't know what its association is anymore. But I'm not advocating that as... But you know that the associations with jeweller also don't necessarily cover what you do. I oh, mean, yeah, of yeah. course, of course. I mean, all of the above. And Are part of that is that's why I'm curious as to what people, other people think contemporary is and how they understand the word to see where that sits in contemporary jewellery. Yeah. And what happens with our job descriptions, right? Yes. Um, I'm thinking of the difference between a capital C and a small c. You know, when you talked about you know, that, that famous you know, contemporary jewel contemporary jewellery is dead. Now, I don't think you used the word movement when you first said yes, it. Yes, I did, very you, you, deliberately. Well, yeah. you clarified, I think, after the first statement, but that, that's just my recollection. Yeah. Because you said the contemporary... Well, it was very interesting because most people didn't hear the word movement and it had been quite a, quite a deliberate um, statement. Yes, yeah, yeah. I've quoted you since then because yeah. so contemporary jewellery movement is dead. Long live contemporary jewellery. So, uh, to me, that's about a capital C and then a small c. Now, in a past life, I played music, and mm -hmm. I, that was in that was last century, and it was called twenty. It was called contemporary music. Yeah, um, that was sort of interchangeable with twentieth tw century music. Now mm -hmm. we sort of oscillated. Is it twentieth century music? Is it contemporary jewelry? Yeah. contemporary music. Yeah, but even then, twentieth century. I mean, that covers a hundred years. So, yeah. to me now, you know, the word contemporary is with a small c. And it's about all the multiple sort of practices we're looking at, and you can come at it from a particular aesthetic um, perspective or an ethical perspective, and I think that's really what everything that people have said we sort of embrace, but I, I quite like that idea of, you know, the contemporary jewellery movement with a capital C and now contemporary is all the things that people have been saying. Is that too sort of all-encompassing? I no, be, no, I it's, a, it's specific, probably quite a the... quite an interesting uh, point in which to wrap the discussion, unless someone else wants to throw in something. I guess. Um, I guess my question is: Well, I, I feel like people don't talk so much about contemporary in other in like art so much. They talk about the Anthropocene or the Capitalocene or whatever mm -hmm. scene, mm -hmm. and it's all related to kind of the mm -hmm. earth and geological eras and how we, um, epochs, sorry. And is there an equivalent in jewellery? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. art is talked about as contemporary art with a capital C. There's a lot of what is contemporary art. It is, but I think the way people frame it now is more... Um, it was outdated. It's, yeah, it's outdated. Yeah. Contemporary. yeah. Contemporary. yeah. yeah. So stuck to be cool again. Are we? Yeah. No. Quite nice to be out of date. <laughs> so, but that's kind of interesting too, because you know it's like with the Anthropocene, say, you know, and it's this idea of well, what is contemporary to art now, you know, like, and I guess yeah, it's an interesting question I think to pose to jewellery. Mm. You know, like what what is contemporary to to jewellery, rather than as a definition of it. Mm in a way, um, it, and that, that sort of poses yeah. it back to practice then yeah. as well. Mm. So, do you want to give a score out of 10 of how contemporary this discussion was? <laughs> Anyone? Well, rating things like that is a very contemporary thing yeah. to yes. do, right? Yeah. Like just even rating. It like is. Three, yes. three and a half? No, I don't think you can do that on the, you only have whole stars, right? Oh, like, right, and it's okay. five, it's five, yeah, it's a slide. <laughs> do we have I a think, star? I think, that's, yeah. I think uh, the new platform for rating these things is Culture Counts, and it's just mm. all on a slide up. Yes. Yeah. So. Yep. Well, what's a contemporary number? Like, well, that's a, yeah. Five comes to mind. I've got no, you know, like, no, I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I guess there you go. I was thinking out of one to ten. 
So there you go. <laughs> I've been institutionalised. Yeah. Very likely. The the assessment of the discussion today. Well, on that note, I'd like to thank my four panel meters. And did you get that very likely score, Dan? Right? The wonderful scribe. That's quite right. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. One or the other. And thank you for coming. <laughs>